more time. Oh, gee, baby, can they see the top of my head? Not, not yet. Not, not, not on the internet. Guys, can you rephrase Everyone. this? I know. Everybody's like talking to their <laughs> well, you friends. Were, you were yeah. laughing. You slide down a little. Slide down a little. Oh, you Just want me to slide? Yeah. I can lean into right. the screen. You know what? Yeah, I'll, grab go. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. You got it? Oh, <laughs> guys. I was gonna, such a they didn't I was show help that. That was Keith so just oh, helping us out over there. Um, That's we, Brian Kilme, by the there way. There we go. Yeah, this is I'm Brian Kilme. I'm not as outnumbered. Judge Janine Pirro. I, I better mean, log on really to our... fun. And I should say to everybody, the reason that we're cropped with four is because Julie Roginski had to run after the TV version of us wrapped up. We didn't have a full show today, though, because Donald Trump was on the stump. I'm so disappointed. There's so Seriously. much that I wanted to talk about. Talk I mean, there's now. So much, okay, I'll just yap for a minute. There's so <laughs> much going on with Please. respect to the, the, the investigation of Hillary with all of these FBI offices. They kept the investigation open about mm -hmm. the foundation. Then we find out that the laptops were never really destroyed. They're in the basement of the FBI offices in D.C. And the immunity deals that were, you know, supposedly these great deals now can be eliminated because now the FBI knows that they lied to Heather Samuelson and Cheryl Mills, the attorneys, based on the WikiLeaks emails. And then what we've got is the fact that 99 percent of the uh, FBI uh, agencies are convinced that five foreign intelligence agencies are uh, hacked into Hillary's emails. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on uh, what's his name, uh, dirtbag uh, Anthony Weiner. Anthony Weinerbag, uh, not uh, Weinerbag, but yeah. Weiner. I know what you mean. Weiner, you know what I meant. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that Weiner oh, has emails from the time, time base server <laughs> that were not taken, uh, right. that the FBI didn't have originally, which means that we may have some of the original emails that she deleted. And as a prosecutor, I'm not done yet. And as a former <laughs> prosecutor, get the camera. I want to tell you that there is a prima facie case. Judges made right. for TV. People are Woo. weighing in on the judges' comments right. like crazy. Like They're the crazy. chat's Facebook going like this. Live? Yes, it is. It is. What like, I do? Love the judge, <laughs> Judge Jay for Supreme Court. Love you guys. Right. Go, yeah. Judge. Do you know what this helps? How many people have an office on the 17th floor? This helps all of us because Why? if the judge can't vent here, we're going to hear it on the 17th floor. <laughs> so this is all good for us in our life. Right. This you is know, how much I love the judge, though, because okay. I, I mean, I, I caught a couple of those points, so I want to press in. Okay, I good. always listen closely. Okay. So uh, Anthony Weiner, extortion possibilities with him, and I don't know. Do we know yet when the Clintons knew about his awful behavior, allegedly, with younger than adult? girls and women um, and the charges that he's being investigated on by the FBI have to do with that. They have nothing to do with Hillary Clinton's email scandal. Right. But the fact that Uma Abedin was backing up her work devices onto his personal laptop, so which scary. if you've seen the documentary, some of us were saying this morning, isn't that the same laptop that's yeah. in like every shot? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe yeah, but what you've one. got is a classic uh, sexting case with the local police, in this case, the NYPD, which is one of the best police departments in the world, not just, uh, you know, the best in the country. So evidence but, preserved. But evidence is then seized. And then, as uh, you know, as we saw play out, Comey then says, oh, my goodness, now it looks like there may be other information from Hillary's server. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about extortion, there's talk. I don't know if we We've confirmed this, that all of that stuff was in a file called insurance. Has anybody confirmed that? I don't that? think that's been confirmed yet, but it's been a that's rumor. That's scary. You know what that tells me? That tells me extortion. When you when you think about that, that maybe I could use this for insurance or let me hide this Oh, no, this that's interesting, because that's not where I was going where with it. Where were you Where going? I was going with it was the fact that when you know you have somebody who's being looked at for some of the things that he's got going on, why in the world would you want items dealing with our national security anywhere in the proximity near this person's husband. To go to the original question, though, they all knew he was a pervert, and he's been doing this for years, and Uma actually did an interview with People magazine, I don't remember the date, where she said he's better now, and then when we went forward, we found out that she knew that there had been another, another uh, hit, another oh, hit no. before Ugh. that interview, so she's right, lied man. for him But before. if you know that somebody has a problem and they have your information, on there, and you work for the Secretary of State, the Clinton Foundation. Shame on her, yeah. Yeah. I got, I got a couple of things. Number one, do you believe that perhaps this guy, one thing about Anthony Weiner, he's resourceful, and remember as a politician, he was very well respected, and he was annoying, but he was very well respected and researched. So I'm wondering if he says, wait a second, I don't want my career to go to an end. I know my wife does, knows what's going on, she's going to get rid of me. Imagine if I downloaded this yeah. information, and I said, I think we're going to try to go to counseling, because I don't think you want this exposed. And do you think somehow, some way, the FBI gets a hold of this, and 
now he's got this thing called leverage and maybe a get out of jail free card if I cooperate from how she got that and what might be included on there. Do you think that could possibly have been a possibility uh, to a guy who's very uh, a survivalist, if nothing else? I can't agree with you more. The man is brilliant. He is brilliant. He's dirtbag, but he's brilliant. He's got no so conscience. He, he, he's got no conscience. Sociopath. But 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 the question is, do we have facts that support it? But having said that, she keeps saying, that, I don't it, know how it got on. In law enforcement, this is what you do. You 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 get the person who was the, at the lowest end and tie them down, get information, give them immunity to go up the ladder to the next person, whether it's a drug case yeah. or a political case. So, sure, he knows that he could sell his soul and the FBI might be willing to engage in that contract to get the people higher up. But it's not going to happen with this Justice Department because they will not give the FBI access to a grand jury. And this is all about a revolt. Right. That's why we're here. Well, this is a I, lot I'm, longer I'm on than the OT. Fox and Friends? Uh, yeah, I usually run up to radio during that. Uh, they usually come up with two or three questions, and then they call it a day. So oh, my gosh, the live chat just crashed. It had so many people on it. I, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Back back on it. 10, well, I mean, um, yeah, they just I have one off. more theory to throw out there. You ready? Please. You do? I okay. think that we're going to hear more about the 650,000 emails and what they contain, because I keep reading in the Wall Street Journal specifically yeah. how they are bringing in all the sophisticated software and more agents to try to get through as much as possible. And what did the president say yesterday? Yesterday, innuendo is not any way we do things of here. They know that they couldn't just leave that letter and then say, go vote. Mm -hmm. Now, if they can give you an idea and go, oh, by the wow. way, look through 650,000 and roll duplicates wow. or something. So, but, Imagine if we come out and go, yeah, we looked under, we looked under 300,000 and we culled it down to 20,000. They're not even going to be able to look at 300,000 by Tuesday, but, what, but the way they can do it with the software, software they, they can get through enough to say, there's a lot here. It took them forever to go through 50,000. They can lock it down. Brian is right. You They're think gonna they can come lock up with it down? They're going to something to be able to. In that short period of yes, time? Yes, because she's on the, he's on the clock. He didn't but say enough. But wouldn't he have done that before he made that announcement? He actually didn't have the warrant to go in until Sunday. Right? No, he didn't. That's why so he needed why the warrant. And that's why he talked. He, let me tell I'm so happy you asked me that question. <laughs> the reason he made the announcement is because when you go for a search warrant and you get a judge to sign it, it becomes public. Period. End of the story. He could have gone to Congress. He could have gone to the ranking member of the committee vindictive? and said, I'm going to reopen this investigation. And if it gets out, you're the one who did it. He could have got a, a judge. They could have done a transcript. Right. He didn't need was to tell us about, about it. But once the warrant was signed, it was public. Make no mistake. Yeah. And he knew that. there was a mutiny. He knew so, it. So is this, is this him being vindictive or something else? No, I don't think it's him being vindictive at all. I think it's Jim Comey just knowing how it works. I think it's simpler than that. I think it's this. I told them if something else comes up to make me reopen this, I would tell you. Now, after looking two weeks at what I found out on October 3rd, oh, I'm telling you, okay. well, I don't think it's even more complicated. But he could have done it in a way that would not have violated justice guidelines. And the justice guidelines are with so a federal public. candidate or statewide, you do not announce an investigation within 60 days of an election for fear that it looks like you're putting your finger on the scales we, in the election. Can we talk about the Cubs before we go? Oh, yes, yes, please, sir. You can. Oh, wait, can I kick it off with Minnesota Fuca saying, oh, now I need Chicago deep dish pizza. Oh, uh, Giordano. Sure. Oh. Giordano's is good. Oh. Um, I was going to quote Anthony Rizzo, the Cubs first baseman. That was the best game I've ever been a part of and the best game oh. I've even ever seen. It probably was, oh. considering the, the hexes, the impact, game seven, on the road, extra innings, oh. and still a comeback in the bottom of the, uh, from 8-6 to 8-7 with men in scoring position to end the game. So that you could, if you're Fox Sports, this is Sounds the Sounds like thing. you're Fox Sports. Uh, well, yeah, well, I consider us all a family. Rupert Murdoch walked oh. into Fox and Friends today, this morning, and he was smiling ear to ear, and I said, well, you just on vacation? He goes, are you kidding? I watched the whole game last yes. night. Yes! This is fantastic. Yes, 10 and, you know, innings, four and a half hours. Baseball has not been a moneymaker. I don't know what the numbers look like, but it has not been a huge ratings getter since Fox invested in it. This year, the ratings oh, were up 30 be, to 40%. That's awesome. So that's tremendous. And seven games. I don't you think they counter-program football a little bit? It was very patriotic. Yep. A lot of red, white, and blue. Oh, I yeah. think they're saying game on for America's pastime. Oh, I like that. I like that. I think game seven of anything, like squirrel hunting, would be interesting. Like I, I like game seven. You do you like yeah, things of consequence? Because that's, yeah, yeah. I do. it's high stakes, high drama. But that was the first time ever in a Game Seven World Series that there was a leadoff home run, and that's when we started oh, texting. Yeah, you we were, were like, so happy on Twitter last that's at the night. Tone yeah. of the I whole watched night. for Sandra. I right. hashtagged Go yeah. Cubs for Sandra, and people were like, I, "I was like, I put money on Twitter." The I cannot believe your no social media uh, access. This is I, to me when I'm out of here. I'm not on Twitter. All right. No, all right. You never stop. I, I wanted to Thanks be with her while she was watching.
All right, you guys, so much fun. To, please, fun to have you guys. We can have more. Yeah, really. Bye bye. Stay within you.